Baluchistan, Balochi, Bluchstan, also Baluchistan or Baluchistan, often interpreted as the land of the Baloch, is an arid desert and mountainous region in southwestern Asia. It comprises the Pakistani province of Baluchistan, Iranian province of Sistan and Baluchistan, and the southern areas of Afghanistan, including Nimruz, Helmand, and Kandahar provinces. Baluchistan borders the Pashtunistan region to the north, Sindh and Punjab to the east, and Persian regions to the west. South of its southern coastline, including the Makran coast, are the Arabian Sea and the Gulf of Oman. Etymology The name, Baluchistan, is generally believed to derive from the name of the Baloch people. However, the Baloch people are not mentioned in pre-Islamic sources. It is likely that the Baloks were known by some other name in their place of origin and that they acquired the name, Baloch. After arriving in Baluchistan sometime in the 10th century, Johann Hansmann relates the term, Baloch, to Melaa, the name by which the Indus Valley civilization is believed to have been known to the Sumerians BC and Akkadians BC in Mesopotamia. Mela disappears from the Mesopotamian records at the beginning of the second millennium BC. However, Hansman states that a trace of it in a modified form, as Baluu, was retained in the names of products imported by the Neo-Assyrian Empire 911 to 605 BC. Al Mukaddasa, who visited the capital of Makran, Banabur, wrote c. 985 AD that it was populated by people called Balusi, Baluchi, leading Hansman to postulate Baluk. As a modification of Mela and Baluu, Asko Parpola relates the name Mela to Indo Aryan words Malecha and Milaka, Milaku, Pali, etc., which do not have an Indo European etymology even though they were used to refer to non Aryan people. Taking them to be Proto Dravidian in origin, he interprets the term as meaning either a proper name Milu Akam from which Tamilakam was derived when the Indus people migrated south or Melu Akam, meaning, high country a possible reference to Baluchistani highlands. Historian Romila Thapar also interprets Mela as a Proto-Dravidian term, possibly Meliku, and suggests the meaning, "'Western Extremity' of the Dravidian-speaking regions in the Indian subcontinent. A literal translation into Sanskrit, Aparanta, was later used to describe the region by the Indo Aryans. During the time of Alexander the Great, 356 to 323 BC, the Greeks called the land Gedrosia and its people Gedrosoi, terms of unknown origin. Using etymological reasoning, H. W. Bailey reconstructs a possible Iranian name, Uadravati, meaning, the land of underground channels which could have been transformed to Badlot in the 9th century and further to Balak in later times. This reasoning remains speculative. History The earliest evidence of human occupation in what is now Baluchistan is dated to the Paleolithic era, represented by hunting camps and lithic scatters, chipped and flaked stone tools. The earliest settled villages in the region date to the Ceramic Neolithic c. 7000-6000 BCE and included the site of Mergar in the Kachi Plain. These villages expanded in size during the subsequent Chalcolithic, when interaction was amplified. This involved the movement of finished goods and raw materials, including chank shell, lapis lazuli, turquoise, and ceramics. By 2500 BCE the, Bronze Age, the region now known as Pakistani Baluchistan had become part of the Harappan cultural orbit, providing key resources to the expansive settlements of the Indus River basin to the east. From the 1st century to the 3rd century CE, the region was ruled by the Paratarahas lit. Parata kings", a dynasty of Indo-Scythian or Indo-Parthian kings. The dynasty of the Paratas is thought to be identical with the Paratas of the Mahabharata, the Puranas and other Vedic and Iranian sources. The Parata kings are primarily known through their coins, which typically exhibit the bust of the ruler with long hair in a headband on the obverse, and a swastika within a circular legend on the reverse, written in Brahmi usually silver coins or Karushthi copper coins. These coins are mainly found in Lorelei in today's western Pakistan. Herodotus in 450 BCE described the Paritakanoi as a tribe ruled by Deox, a Persian king, in northwestern Persia History I. 101. 
Arian describes how Alexander the Great encountered the Paradikai in Bactria and Sogdiana, and had them conquered by Craterus Anabasis Alexandru IV. The Periplus of the Erythraean Sea 1st century CE describes the territory of the Peridon beyond the Amanitic region, on the coast of modern Baluchistan. The region was fully Islamized by the 9th century and became part of the territory of the Seferids of Zaranj, followed by the Ghaznavids, then the Ghurids. Ahmad Shah Durrani made it part of the Afghan Empire in 1749. In 1758 the Khan of Khalid, Mir Nuri Nazir Khan Balak, revolted against Ahmed Shah Durrani, defeated him, and freed Baluchistan, winning complete independence. Governance and political disputes The Baluchistan region is administratively divided among three countries, Pakistan, Afghanistan and Iran. The largest portion in area and population is in Pakistan, whose largest province in land area is Baluchistan. An estimated 6.9 million of Pakistan's population is Baloch. In Iran there are about 2 million ethnic Baloch and a majority of the population of the eastern Sistan and Baluchistan province is of Baloch ethnicity. The Afghan portion of Baluchistan includes the Shahar Burjik district of Nimruz province, and the Registan Desert in southern Helmand and Kandahar provinces. The governors of Nimruz province in Afghanistan belong to the Baloch ethnic group. In Pakistan, insurgencies by Baloch nationalists in Baluchistan province have been fought in 1948, 1958–59, 1962–63 and 1973–77—with a new ongoing and reportedly stronger, broader insurgency beginning in 2003. Historically, "'drivers' of the conflict are reported to include tribal divisions", the Baloch Pashtun ethnic divisions, "...marginalization by Punjabi interests", and "...economic oppression". In Iran, separatist fighting has reportedly not gained as much ground as the conflict in Pakistan, but has grown and become more sectarian since 2012, with the majority Sunni Baloch showing a greater degree of Salafist and anti-Shia ideology in their fight against the Shia Islamist Iranian government. Arts and culture Arts Many Baluchi are self-sufficient, and they rely on their own skills to construct their houses and many of the tools necessary in their day-to-day -day life. Rugs are woven for household use and as items of trade. Although the Baluchi are largely an illiterate people and their language was until quite recently unwritten, they have a long tradition of poetic composition, and poets and professional minstrels have been held in high esteem. Their oral literature consists of epic poetry, ballads of war and romance, religious compositions, and folktales. Much composition is given over to genealogical recitals as well. This poetic creativity traditionally had a practical as well as aesthetic aspect. Professional minstrels long held the responsibility of carrying information from one to another of the scattered Baluchi settlements, and during the time of the first Baluchi confederacy these traveling singers provided an important means by which the individual leaders of each tribe within the confederacy could be linked to the central leadership. The earliest securely dated Baluchi poem still known today dates to the late 12th century, although the tradition of such compositions is no doubt of much greater antiquity. Literature The literature of Baluchi—until quite recently entirely oral and still largely so—consists of a large amount of history and occasional balladry epic poetry, stories and legends, romantic ballads, and religious and didactic poetry, of which there is an extensive corpus, in addition there is a large variety of domestic verse, work songs, lullabies, and riddles. Possibly the first modest attempt to collect some of this extensive literature is represented by the manuscript B. M. Cod. Ad. 24048 In any case it is quite certain that no systematic attempts were made to collect and reduce to written form any sizable part of this literature prior to the European mainly British interest in it in the 19th century. Of these collections, the earliest of note was made by A. Lewis in 1855, the next important one was by T. J. L. Mayer in 1900. 
By far the most important and systematic, however, are those by M. Longworth Dames, in 1891, 1907, and 1909. Unfortunately all of these works deal with material which came only from one small area, and in Eastern Hill Baluchi only, thus giving a misleadingly restricted picture of the real extent and variety of this literature, and an inflated estimate of the importance of the dialect in which it was collected. The language of classical Baluchi poetry is traditionally in three dialects in order of their status and importance, coastal, Eastern Hill Baluchi, and Kechi. Topic: Music. The main instruments of Baluchi music are the sorid fiddle, the Dinelli double flute, the benju zither, the tanbarag lute, and the dolak. Topic: See also. Sistan and Baluchistan province. Mergar. Bolan Pass. Sistan Force.